Stacking can give you a significant competitive advantage. Today we're going to talk about what is stacking, why you would stack, and how to stack. My name is Glenn Peterson with Pickleball Central and let's get started. So maybe you've heard about stacking in doubles pickleball. Stacking is when one player always plays from the right side and the other player always plays from the left side, irrespective of the score. Why would two partners stack? And the simple answer is that you want the strongest forehand in the center of the court. Or if you're playing with a left-hander, you would like both forehands in the center of the court. For most of us, the forehand is stronger than the backhand. So having a strong forehand in the center of the court, meaning the person on the left side of the court is taking the balls in the center of the court. It's advantageous to hit balls down to center because that's where the net is lowest and you're least likely to hit a ball out of bounds. When serving, it's really quite simple. One player serves from one side and the partner stands on the side that they will end up after the serve is hit. For returning, it's a little bit more complicated. The player who's not hitting the return stands off to the side of the court on the side that they're gonna end up after the return is hit. And the person hitting the return then makes the diagonal run up to the kitchen on the side that they will end up on. The second way to stack when you're returning uh, has some advantages. And this method involves giving a signal to your partner that your opponents cannot see. And the advantage of this is that it creates a distraction for your opponents. The signal that we give is a fist if I'm gonna stay on the side that I start and an open hand that signals that I'm going to shift sides after the return is hit. You know, good job. So when we're stacking, a lot of times when we give the fist, we'll do that about 10% of the time because we really want to keep both forehands in the middle and not have backhands in the middle where they can expose us by attacking us down the middle. But the confusion that we create by not always doing the same thing often results in an error on the other side. Yep, exactly. When stacking is that at least one of you knows the score and which side you have to be on. Gold medals have been lost because partners lost track of which side of the court they would either serve or return on. So having a partner who's aware of what side you should each be on based on the score is absolutely critical. Don't do this for the first time in a tournament. Practice it before you do it in a competitive situation. There might be particular situations where depending on the strengths or weaknesses of your opponent, a particular player might want to be hitting either cross court or straight up against a particular player. So there would be situational reasons why you would want to stack to have a setup with your opponents that is most advantageous. If you're playing against a left and right hander and you find both backhands in the center, you definitely want to hit balls to the center because generally backhands are weaker than forehands. If you find stacking to be a competitive advantage, make sure you practice it before you go to a tournament. I hope you find it successful.